Okay, it looks like we have an eye exam today to do. Hello there. Are you here for the eye exam? I'm just gonna get my chart right here. And just a quick question before we begin. You're here for the relaxing eye exam, correct? Good. And have you had any problems with your eyes within the past two months at all? Perhaps maybe less vision, tired eyes, lack of sleep? Okay, well today we're going to be testing all of that. I am Dr. I. Pleasure to meet you. Yes. And if you could please just relax and take a seat right there. We will begin the relaxing eye exam as fast as possible. And I was looking at your paperwork before you began. Are you going to need a new pair of glasses as well? Okay, and do you remember your last set of prescriptions? That's okay, we can test you again, no worries here. And I'm just gonna let you know, my hands may be a little bit cold, but I just sanitize them. I'm gonna first touch a little bit around your face, is that okay with you? Very good. I always test around the face to see if there's swelling, any sort of pain, okay? Okay, so I'm just gonna touch around your eyes. All you have to do is I'm gonna ask you, do you feel that? You say yes or no, okay? Good. Okay. I'm gonna do a little test right there. Can you feel that? Could you feel that? Beautiful. And a little bit below. Can you feel that? Good. Any sort of sensitivity or pain? Okay. I'm gonna test the sides of your eyes now, just right at the corners, okay? Can you feel that? Good, yes or no? And can you feel that? Very good. Okay, I'm gonna write that down. No sensitivity. Okay. Now, can you just do a couple of follow my instructions for me? I'm gonna ask you to look at certain things and I'm gonna point at them, either close or far away from your eyes. Is that okay? Good. So, a lot of people get sleepy at this. It's okay if your eyes start to close. Okay, so I'm gonna ask you to take a look at my finger right here, okay? Can you look at it all the way over here? Good. And then can you look at my finger all the way over here? Good. Okay. Other finger. Look at this pointer finger right here. Can you look at it all the way over here? Good. And can you look at it all the way over here? Follow my finger all the way over here. Good. And then follow my finger all the way over here. Good. Okay. I got a little bit close now if that's okay with you. Good. So, what I want you to do is look where I wiggle my two fingers here. I'm gonna put a little pressure on top of your eye, okay? So look where I little wiggle the fingers. Good. 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 And look over here. Good. Great. Good. And then look above. Good. I'm just gonna do a little bit of pressure here. Good. Good. Okay. And I'm gonna touch the corners of the eyes now, okay? Good. Good, okay. Looks like you're doing all well there. That is great. We're gonna get some gloves on now. And I'm gonna just get a little bit closer. We're first gonna add some eye drops. And what we're gonna add is these eye drops. Let me see in your eye. They need some time to activate. And it appears that you have some sleepy eyes. If you would like to close your eyes for partial parts of the exam, you are allowed to. Okay, so I have my gloves on now. I'm just gonna get a little bit of the serum. I'm just going to get a little bit of this eye drop serum. And I'm gonna add this to your eyes, okay? I'm just gonna hold a little bit there. And just keep your eyes open, look up. Good. And then in the other eye. Okay. In the other eye here. Okay, just look up. Good. And now I'm going to ask you to do this with me. Can you... Close your eye. 
and then open, close, and then open. Good, I'll manually do it as well. I'm just gonna close, gonna open, gonna close, and gonna open. Very good, okay. You may feel it have a slight tingling sensation, and that's exactly what it is supposed to do, okay? Got it. So, I'm gonna test your eyes with some lights now, and we're just gonna see if you can see a couple of things, okay? Very good, so good. It's a little bit relaxing. A lot of people fall asleep with the light part. Can you look right there for me? Good, okay. Can you look above? Good, and can you look below? Good, okay. All I want you to do now is say, now, when you see the light past the center of your vision, okay? So, not if it's necessarily up or down, just when it hits the center of your peripheral vision, just say now, okay? Good. So, I'm gonna move the light round, and you say, now, when the light is directly at the center of your vision. Good. So, take a look, the light is moving. Good. And the light's moving back. Good. And the light is moving back. Good. And the light is moving back and forth. Good. Back and forth. Good. Back and forth. Great. Back and forth. Good. And back and forth. Great. So right at the center happens to be along this peripheral line, perhaps. Good. Okay. Do your eyes feel heavy or a bit distant? You're doing good. Great. Okay, we're going to do the reverse now. And we're going to have the light move up and down. And again, you let me know when the light hits directly to the center of your peripheral vision. Doesn't matter if it is to your left or right. Good. Now, once more. Here's the light. It's gonna shine. Good, good, good. Good. Just say now when it's at the center. Great. Good. Great. Keep looking. Let me know when it's at the center. Good. 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 Great. Other side. Good. Great. Good. Good. You're doing great. Good job. I'm going to introduce another light now. The two pen lights here. What I want you to do is only look at the pen light on this hand right here. This happens to be in your vision. This will be your left side. So only focus at the light on the left, okay? What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be looking diagonally to the other side of your eye, okay? So only follow the light in this hand on your left side. So look right there. Good. You're doing great. I'm going to get a bit up close. You're doing fantastic. Only look at this light. Good. And we're going to switch. Keep looking down, but look at the left light. Good, good, good. Okay, good. That looks great. Okay. Looking up again. Keep looking at the light for your left side. Good. Okay. And then keep looking at that light. Good. You're doing great. Good job. Good job. Good. You're doing good. Okay. Very good. Now I'm going to test your eyes with a different set of lights here. So I have two sets of lights here. We have the red light and we have the blue light. Okay. Can you tell me which side the red light is in? Is it in your left side or your right side? Let me know. Where is the red light? Is it your left side or your right side? Let me know in three, two, and one. Good. It is your left side. Okay. Now, the lights are not the same color as the actual flashlights. Can you tell me or are you able to see any color? Okay. Let me know what color the light is on this specific flashlight. I'm going to shine it carefully on you. Take a quick look. Can you tell me what light the actual flashlight is? What color does that happen to be? Take a guess. Three, two, one. Okay, good. If you guessed that that was actually green, you would be correct. This is a green light. Okay, now take a guess at what light 
mention what color this one is. This one's a bit more obvious to tell. What color is this flashlight? Let me know in three, two, and one. Good. If you guessed pink, you would be correct. Good job. Okay. I'm going to turn the lights off here so that we can focus on these specific lights. Good. So, let me know which side is the pink light on. Is it left or right? And this is your side, it's not mine. Left or right, which side is the pink light on? Good, that is your right. Okay, now which side is the green light on? Left or right? Good, very good. It is on the perfect your left side. Good. I'm going to switch these lights around now. Okay. Now, can you tell me which side the pink light is on, left or right? Good, it is left. And which side is the green light on? Good, it is right. Good. Now, you let me know which light is closer. Is it the pink light or is it the green light? Take a look. One is closer to you currently. Which one do you think is closest to you, green or pink? Good, pink. Gonna switch it around. Which light is closest to you now? Green or pink? Good, it is green. Good job. Okay. Now, which light is closest to me? Which one's closest to me? Is it green or is it pink? Good, if you guessed green, you'd be correct. Which light is closest to me now? Green or pink? Good, if you guessed pink, you would be absolutely correct. Good job. Okay, I'm going to bring these lights a little close to you now. We're going to focus only on the pink light. Can you see my hand right here? Good. How many fingers am I holding up? Good. That is two. Good. How many fingers am I holding up now? One. How many now? Three. How many now? Four. Good. I'm going to switch hands now. Take a look at the other hand. How many fingers am I holding up now? Good. That is one. What about now? Four. What about now? Three. What about now? Two. Very good. Now, quick test while the lights are still off. I love to do this test because most find it very relaxing as this is a relaxing eye exam test. Okay. So, again, we're going to bring out the two pen lights. Okay. And which light is closest to you now? These were the same color, so a bit more difficulty. Which light do you think is closest to you? Your left side or your right side? Let me know in three, two, and one. Good left. And what about now? Three, two, and one. Good right. Okay. Now let me know which side is the light on, the left or the right? Left or right? Left or right? Good left. And we're going to repeat what side is the light on, left or right? Left or right? Good, left, and one more. What side is the light on, left or right? Left or right? Good, it is on the right. You're doing fabulous. Good job. We're going to turn the lights back on now. And we're going to continue with a different type of test. I have a piece of paper here. I'm going to draw a letter on the paper. I want you to let me know exactly when you are unable to see the letter or when your vision gets a bit more blurry. So, I have drawn a letter on this paper. Can you tell me what letter that is on the paper? Good, that is the letter A. Very good. Now I'm going to pull it really close to your face and pull it far away and you tell me exactly when the letter gets a bit more difficult to read just by saying now. Okay, here's the letter up close. Perfect, and I'm going to pull away. You let me know by saying now when it gets a bit more difficult to see. Just going to pull the letter away. Pulling the letter away. Pulling the letter away now. And what about now? Very good. Okay, there. We're going to try the opposite side now, too. Here's the letter in the center of your peripheral vision. And we're going to pull the letter away. Pulling the letter away. Pulling the letter away. 
Can you still see it? When is it getting difficult? Good. Now, good job. Okay. Now, I'm going to flip the page and I'm going to draw a type of shape. And I want you to identify what shape I'm drawing, okay? So, I drew a shape right here. What shape is that? I can draw it again below. Keep watching. What shape is that? That is a square. You can also call it a rhombus, but that is a square. Very good. I'm going to draw a different shape now. Keep a look. What shape is that? Let me know. That is a circle. Very good. And keep focus. What shape is that? That is a triangle. Very good. You're doing great. It is great. We're going to test your prescription now. I have four types of lenses here based off of your last prescription. Now, what I'm going to ask you to do is tell me, is the vision better or worse, one or two? With the lens test, I'm going to carefully clean these off before use. Okay, so you let me know, better or worse, lens one or two. One will be without, two will be with the lens. Here we go. One without. Two with, one without, two with, which looks better, one without, or two with, one without, very good. Okay, we're going to flip it onto this lens now. Which looks better, one without, two with, one without, two with, one without, two with, good, two. Okay, we're going to flip to this prescription right here. This one will be at a negative two, and what we are testing is this one will be the convex lens. Tell me which looks better. One without, two with, one without, two with, one without, two with. Good, that is. Good, that is two with. Okay. Okay. And we're going to flip it again to this one, which will be concave. What looks better? One without. Two with, one without, two with, one without, and two with. So without perfect. So your convex is at a negative 1.5 on your left eye, and then concave, which would be negative 2 on your right eye. That was your positive result. Perfect. That's the same prescription as last time for you. It also appears you may have tired eyes. Okay. I'm going to give you a little test now. I always test people on this, okay? So we have a couple of stickers here. And I'm going to point to one, and I want you to tell me what type of visual emotion this person has. Is it positive or negative, okay? So I'm going to point to one of these right here, okay? We have this little emoticon right here. Is that positive or negative? Is it a positive emotion or a negative emotion? Good. This one is smiling. This one is positive. Good. So you're still able to see the smile on the smiley, correct? Very good. Okay. We're going to move on to another one now on this side. I'm going to choose this one right below here. Is this positive or negative? Positive or negative? Let me know in three, two, and one. Good. This one is negative. You can tell because you see steam right there below their face, and they have a frowny face. Was this more difficult for you to see because the emoticon was red, or do you feel like you can still visually see them exactly the same? Tell me. Very good. Okay. We're going to move on now to this one all the way over here. Is this one positive or negative? Can you see this emoticon? Let me know in three, two, one. Good, you can, that's positive. And are you able to see the teeth in this emoticon? Or was it a bit difficult to tell because they kind of look like squiggly lines? Very good, good job. One last one over here. I'm going to go all the way to this one right at the corner. Positive or a negative emoticon right at the bottom. It's the one with the tears. Let me know in three, two, and one. Good, this one is negative. And this one, can you tell that there is a blue contrasting with the yellow smiley? Could you tell that those were tears? 
very good. So what we test with this one specifically is if you're able to identify a smiley or a frown in accordance with other colors. Specifically, smileys are the best to do because you can always easily see them more than a visual face, perhaps an image of someone. Good job. And we're going to move on to a more basic test. I have a set of pens here. It is an entire rainbow of pens. I'm going to point to one of the pens. You let me know if you can identify the color for me, okay? So, stop right here. What color is that? What shade is that? That one is green. Good. I'm gonna shuffle through, shuffle through. Good. And right there, what shade or color is this one right there? That one is good. A pink or a purple, I'll accept. Good, we're going to shuffle through. Okay, what shade is this one all the way over here? This one is a purple or a blue. Good job, we're going to shuffle. What shade is this one right there? That one is a yellow. Good job, and we're going to do one last shuffle. Good, and what shade is this one right here? Very good, again, this one is a green or a blue. We're doing absolutely fantastic. Okay, we're gonna do one more test with contrast here. And I love this one. This one's my favorite. So, we have a little dice. And I'm gonna ask you, are you able to identify how many dots are on the dice? Okay. So, we're gonna shuffle it around. Okay. And I'm gonna roll. Let me know what number is on this dice. Can you tell by counting the circles? Let me know fast, that one is good. Now, what is this one right there? That one is one, two, three, four, five, six. That one is six, good job. And we're gonna roll it around some more. And what is this one right there? Can you tell? That is one, two, and three. Good, and one last roll. What is this one right there? That one right there. What is that? One and two. That one is two. Very good. So we're going to set you up with a set of glasses now too. It looks like you're not having as difficulty with vision problems as you did in the past. As well, it looks like your prescription has changed slightly for your left eye than it has for your right. So we can set you up with a brand new pair of glasses. Is that okay with you? Good. I have three sets of glasses here that I would like you to try on. And you let me know which one you like the best for your own personal vision, okay? So, the first one here, we have a pair of Tom Fords. Very fancy. But these all come with the prescription as long as you have your copay with us. So, here are these lovely Tom Fords. I'm going to give you a mirror here now, too. How do you like them? How do you dislike them? You like them? Good. Okay, let's try another one on. These ones right here, these ones are Valentino, extra fancy. And these ones have a turtle shell type design. I'm going to place these on you. A lot of people find this part very comforting. How do you like? Let me show you the mirror. Oh yes, this one is very stunning. Good, and let's try the last one on. These ones are, let's see, these are Ray-Bans, extra fancy. And these ones are my personal favorite. They're almost like a gray and a kind of a green turtle shell. Very cute. Specifically would match well with your eyes. So, I'm gonna place this one carefully on you and show you the mirror. What do you think? Okay, you're a fan of the Ray-Bans. Very good. Okay, we'll set these ones in with your prescription and we'll also double analyze with your eye tests. You have no type of astigmatism is what we've seen, but you do experience tired eyes. With all the color tests, it also sees that you have perhaps eye fatigue. I would say that this is because you show too much sign of screen use per day. We suggest you limit that as well. We suggest you find more rest as you do have some luxury baggage under your eyes, but nevertheless, we will always offer you a vitamin C serum there, and we will finish up with your glasses prescription. We hope you enjoyed this relaxing eye exam today, and thank you for coming on by. 
Yes, you can come back in two days for your full prescription glasses that will be ready for you. We have a lens professional here that makes them on the spot. Perfect. Thank you for coming by to the clinic today. And if you'd like to find a rest spot before you leave, we have sunglasses because your eyes may be sensitive to the eye drops we added. Very good. Have a good day now. Bye.